Hello, my name is Gabriela Alvarez, and I'd like to discuss the topic of mental health in old age. This topic is particularly important for me because of my grandparents. My grandparents were a very important part of my childhood and continue to be one of the strongest forces in my life, so it hurt to see them suffer in the last years of their life, both because of the natural course of life and because of mental disorders. One of the main issues surrounding mental health during old age is how difficult it is to determine whether a behavior is indicative of a disorder or an appropriate response given the age and the situation. Like for example, while isolation and hostility can be indicative of maladaptive behaviors for teenagers, it may actually be a justified response for an adult and help them better adapt to their situation. This difficulty in defining whether elders' behavior is because of a disorder or natural leads to some difficulty in obtaining statistics about mental disorders as a function of age. This particular chart summarizing the investigations conducted by Kelser and others in 2005 show how the DSM-5 orders such as anxiety disorders and major depressive disorders are less prevalent in those of age 60 years and up. Based on my personal experience seeing my grandmother get anxious in situations I thought were completely normal, I thought that anxiety was going to be more prevalent in elder people compared to younger people. But before, I didn't take into account the impact of biological, psychological, and social cultural forces. The way that my grandma was raised in Cuba and her relationship with her grandma are possible factors that cause her to be anxious in certain situations. But those reactions don't mean that she necessarily had anxiety disorders. Anxiety disorders are actually not as prevalent in oral, old age as I originally thought. In this color-coded map of the United States, you can see the percentage of adults of age 50 or older that were diagnosed with anxiety. The darkest purple being 12.07% to 17.62% and the lightest being 0% to 9.38% in their respective states. Surprisingly, more than 90% of adults did not report a lifetime diagnosis of anxiety. This data is hopeful that anxiety is not a common disorder, but the fact that adults in this particular age group are more likely to emphasize physical rather than psychiatric symptoms somewhat undermines this. I can't come to a conclusion as to if my grandparents suffered from a disorder or adapted effectively as they aged, but I want to advocate that we should have patience with our elders and try to understand their reactions rather than judge them. Thank you.